It's interesting, this year actually, this tour for this album, um, the material is much more open-ended and it requires a lot of risk to be taken with it and, and it can fall on its face any night or it can sound really great and that's really exciting so I, I gotta say this is probably one of the more exciting tours that we've done for a while it feels like we have more energy um, I think than, than ever we are the dirty three we come from Melbourne Australia a long time ago but you're only born once, and you're only born in one place once, so that's how it is. creating things, if it's soundtracks or with, with Grinder Man or The Bad Seas. And we were still out playing, but I don't know, I, I, I'd lost the narrative of this, of the group. And, and I think it's because of the other things I was doing, it was quite different how I was engaging in them. And, and also, I think one of our aims, actually our only aim was to never augment the group. It was to see how far we could take the three of us. The challenge of that kind of small lineup and you very quickly become aware of your kind of limitations, I think, with that. And you, you sort of, after a couple of albums, the work really starts to kind of kick in. And then, then you, you kind of are more familiar with things and you're not, you're going to, okay, I've, that, yeah, okay, we know what that, we recognize that, you know, so let's do something else. Every time we sat down, we couldn't kind of get something that felt like it had moved somewhere. But when we played live, there was always this energy and this kind of thing that went on. And we're like, why can't we get this when we go in to record? And so then we thought, right, we've got to take it really back to simple ideas and let the way that we play sort of unfold and take risks again. Because we've been sort of putting it into too tightly sort of constrained structures. And as soon as we opened it up again, you know, it, 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 it suddenly became apparent this is the way forward.
do other things that's been really instrumental in the longevity of this group. But Jim plays with Cat Bauer and with Bill, Bill Callahan and, and Mick does his solo stuff and paints and I don't think, I think every, we all understand, you know, that we're not always available but when we get together, there's nothing like it. I think the greatest thing we've achieved so far is the fact we've been around for over 20 years now. To me, it's like kind of, it sort of stands for something. That I can honestly say that I still feel the same way about playing with those two guys as I did when we started over 20 years ago. to get together to do it and we make a way, you know, it could be a, a bunch of shows and then we go, okay, let's convene in Paris and let's tr try and get some ideas together. Or we're in Australia for Christmas, let's put five dates aside. I mean, we've never, <laughs> we've never laboured over things. I mean, nothing I've ever done has been like nine months or something, you know, or a year in the studio and stuff like that. I mean, it's always few days, see what happens. Dirty Three albums, we, we do them in like three or four days. Like when you're talking to people, if they say, can you repeat that again? Can you repeat that again? Can you repeat that again? I mean, you know, you say I love you, and it has a repercussion. And someone goes, oh, can you say that again? I love you. Can you say it again? I love you. It doesn't kind of mean as much the fourth time around. And playing music in, a, in recording is very much like that. 
it starts to become a part very quickly and someone goes, hey, that was really good, can you do that? And instantly, it's lost something, you know, and you're trying to do it, you're putting some effort in. I'd rather the kind of, the trade-off of having a few fruity notes and stuff like that, and the spirit, than, than kind of something that, you know, it sounds like Coldplay, it's kind of not perfect, but like kind of lacking in spirit. I actually don't even know a Coldplay song, to be honest.